Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. So today we are working on Planet Zoo and we are making our habitat for our giant anteater. And with our giant anteater we are also closing up the temple area of our zoo. And next week we will continue with other areas. But for now, let's focus on this one. So we obviously have this path, right, where the, the guests would, would be able to look at the crocodiles on one side and lo be looking at the anteaters on the other side. Obviously we are using the same glass and the same wooden pieces just to make it look uh, cohesive and it's actually one zoo and not just uh, some random habitats like mixed together. So in a moment we are gonna... I actually cut this out because it didn't work properly and I went like trying and fixing it like for almost 40 minutes and that was quite boring to look at. So hence why we are just doing this. So don't worry about it guys, I fixed it in the end so don't you worry about it. So I did however, like did not place a glass panel there but just you know, normal things. So we are now placing our wooden beams in there and I wanted to make sure that those are actually placed on where the glass actually meets because otherwise it would be really really weird and it actually was quite difficult sometimes because of all the sunlight that there is in the game sometimes you can't actually uh, see where one glass piece ends and another one begins but we got through it in the end and i actually think it looks rather nice even though like there are arctic uh, pieces i still think it looks really nice and cohesive i'm quite proud of this habitat to be honest guys like quite proud so we are now just buying our giant anteaters and obviously we are choosing the best ones from the market and sending them in and the reason i'm doing it is because then i can just click on the animal and see what their needs are instead of like random guessing because even though i am building in sandbox mode and it actually doesn't really care because the animals um, couldn't care less about it if i turned that off i like to play sandbox mode as if we're franchise just with unlimited money because i like my money I like unlimited money, I like building from my imagination and stuff like that. And whenever I do franchise, I always feel limited in the beginning because of obviously the budget. And then in the end, I'm too lazy to like change the habitats to make them look more prettier. And I just don't play franchise anymore. So it is sandbox for me, but I just pretend it is a franchise. Only except I don't have to pay like money for everything I do. I mean, can you just imagine how expensive all these rocks would be in franchise mode. Like, I'm guessing it's like really expensive. Also, you will be seeing me like placing a lot of rocks, like a lot of rocks, but I actually love this habitat. I think it looks so, um, I don't want to say genius because that sounds a little bit cocky if I say it about myself, but it is really um, innovating kind of stuff. Before like you start saying, ooh, but in your videos this week have all been really short. I know that. But it is actually, uh, this week was the first week that I'm actually off from my holiday and I needed to get back to work again. And the first week back at a school is always really hectic. So I wanted to do something uh, like a few videos and a few habitats where it actually didn't took me like that much time to build it. So hence why I chose the giant ant eater for this final like place in our temple area and not a different animal like um, I don't know lions or cheetah or tigers or whatever even though the space would have been perfect for those animals we are gonna place them somewhere else in our zoo though and I'm actually really proud that we are finishing up our entire temple area and you will uh, I think I put an overview in at the end of this video of the temple area and I'm actually really proud of it so if you haven't seen me building any of the other habitats you will see them like surrounding it we, we basically um, that temple that you're seeing there in the background, that's a food court. And if you have seen that video, I'm very sorry, I'm going to be telling this again, but I'm proud of it. So we built a food court uh, in the shape of a temple and inside are all these different shops and toilets and stuff and all. And then surrounding our temple are four, um, three, four, four, so I can remember, three sunken pits. And actually four sunken pits, but one is connected, so it is one habitat. And we have like different animals in there. So in one, uh, like the one there on the right, we have a jaguar family in there and they have actually have like a sick amount of space. Like it's ridiculous. They have like two sunken pits together because we built a tunnel. And then on the other side, we have our saltwater crocodiles. And here we are having our giant ant eaters. And the reason I chose those animals is because they're 
Okay, this is gonna sound really, really nerdy, but I used to play a lot of Tomb Raider, and then sometimes I still play it, but I recently discovered Planet Zoo, so I'm all into Planet Zoo at the moment, but I have played Tomb Raider quite a lot. And whenever I played Tomb Raider, I usually played a uh, Legend or Anniversary, and there were so many temples in that game, and then there were a lot of uh, like crocodiles and jaguars and cat-like stuff. You know, so and then sometimes we were like nicer animals like uh, tapirs, tapirs, I don't know how to pronounce that, or like anteaters. So, hence why we have two predator animals and like one easy going, even though if I were to see a giant anteater in real life, I would probably be quite terrified because they are really giant. So, most of our inspiration for all these builds are from uh, games like Tomb Raider and like Explorer movies and stuff like that. So what we are doing here, we are actually placing some old temple pieces and we are gonna make sure that a waterfall like submerges from it so that the waterfall is behind those temple pieces and I actually think that it looks really nice and I always have trouble with actually placing the waterfall features because I can never like properly see when they're actually in the wall or not and that probably has something to do with the fact that I um, play with a headset on and when I have my headset on I can't actually wear my glasses because then it like it aches behind my ear so you know so maybe it's also just really like not easy to see because they're really tiny but it might just be the glass thing who know so we are now just focusing on our little habitat and shelter area that we built for them so we are doing a mix of uh, leaves and hay just because i feel like leaves yeah it's like a tropical animal but hay that i feel like that's more comfortable for them and obviously we're putting a lot of ant hills because they are ant eaters so you need to have a lot of ants and they're actually really cute like the giant ant eater he kind of looks terrified but they're also really cute i like them i can't say it otherwise i really like them and now we are going to work on the landscaping and obviously like some more terrain bit because i felt like it was very green and needed some more sand and now we are placing our palm trees just put we did to the other habitats to make it look like one cohesive thing and we are using those giant trees to make them look like bushes because you can actually place them all the way down and then it kind of looked more like bushes and I thought that was really clever. So quite proud of this habitat even if I say so myself. And all those palm trees, man. Like if you have seen all the other videos you will totally get the palm tree vibe. If you haven't seen the videos make sure you check them out. I'll link the playlist down below and also at the end of the video uh, there will be a link to the playlist so make sure you check that out. And uh, also there will be a link to my Steam workshop and you can download the uh, habitats that I uploaded and like some of the zoo things because I usually do upload them all to the Steam workshop. So if you really like them you can just use them in your own game. I can't say they're cheap because they probably aren't because I built in sandbox and I don't care about budgets but you know whatever. So make sure like even though we are only placing uh, like plants right now make sure you do stick around because in the end we are gonna have some cinematics and like seeing those giant anteaters man they're so cute they're so cute and also like quite terrifying but that's just because they're really big and it maybe it's their thought they're like their tongue that scares like, it doesn't say scare me but it's like a little bit of a creepy vibe but i'm like Ooh, imagine how that feels like yuck it's a bit of a yuck feeling whenever I see them like eating because they have this big line like giant tongue and it's kind of weird. But enough about the giant and eaters and their weird tongue. Let's talk about our habitat some more. So I did feel like because um, all the guests were just like walking over their habitat, they should need some shelter. So we are going to place some uh, like bushes down for them and we are going to put some roots down. And I wanted to with these roots, I wanted to make sure that it looked like they belong to the tree. I'm not sure if I've succeeded in that. I mean, it is the first time that I'm doing something like this. I'm still quite new to the game and I'm just trying it out, but I am really enjoying it. I feel like the options are so big. Like I have so many options and variables to, to build the way that I want to build. And I don't have to care about what anyone else says because it's my build and I decide it. So I really like that. Obviously in the end, we are also um, like concerning for our animals so we want to make sure that they're happy and that they have enough coverage and that they have like all the things that they need to be happy because I primarily built this zoo for the animals and not for the guests I mean that there are people that's nice but I really just want to build for the animals 
we're now just making a little uh, rock part like way because I felt it was like pretty big open spaces and it needed to be like something so we're just gonna place some rocks like we're not gonna make it too crazy or too big and we're gonna put some trees or bushes around it just to make it look like it has been there forever like maybe even longer than the anteaters have been here that was the entire goal of it making it as natural as possible and just there happen to be like animals in there that's also a thing like i check with a guest what i think of my scenery and what i think of my zoo and almost every guest they're like oh the scenery in this zoo is great it's so amazing and i'm like yes the scenery in this zoo is great and it is amazing but it really pisses me off when there's a guest like saying oh i love the view of the giant anteater i can see they put a medium amount of thoughts in it and i'm I get really offended. I'm like, excuse me? Medium amount of thoughts? How about like large amount of thought? Because I actually thought this through. What I wanted to place, where I wanted to place it. And they just don't see it. And that really pisses me off. And I've heard more people about the forums and on Reddit. I've heard more people talking about that. So it's not just me. But it's really frustrating because I put so much effort in like building habitats and stuff like that. Like imagine if I took like more time for this, like maybe like an hour, an hour and a half, how much um, like work I could actually get done for them. But obviously because of the time frame that I'm in on uh, this week, and probably not next week, not sure about that yet, but probably next week I'll have some like more time, more spare time so I can make something more beautiful. And if you have any ideas for like animals or areas, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any remarks of things you don't like or you do like, feel free to let me know. Like I can learn from it. I'm still very new to the game, so please let me know. So here are the cinematics and I will leave you guys alone for the cinematics. But do make sure that if you haven't already subscribed, like do that. Also hit the bell icon so you get notified when my next video goes live. And bye guys.